What would it take for you to believe in God? A supernatural explanation for anything is incoherent. I mean, there shouldn't even be a word for atheism. There's not a word for not believing in fairness. Why should I respect a capricious, mean-minded, stupid God? Who wants this to be true? Religion makes specific claims which need to be ridiculed with contempt. A celestial North Korea. It is not only tiresome, it is morally reprehensible. You're into nonsense? What would persuade you? Well, I'm starting to think nothing would. What would make you believe in God? I asked my friend at the end of a drink. He didn't spend a second to think. He'd been asked before, I figure. Had his answer on a hair trigger. If God, he said, would reconfigure the stars in the sky to spell the Ten Commandments on high, then I would believe. I don't know how you'd conceive of divine proof. Where would you set your sights? My friend set his to galactic heights. But I asked, would you like this almighty meddler, shuffling nebula, simply to tell you thou shalt not? Back he shot. I could never like God, but if he flexed somehow, I'd grudgingly bow. I said, now we agree. We both opt out of the God that you doubt. But have you considered what Easter's about? There's this doubter called Thomas, a little like you. He too had a test. He said, unless I see the nail marks in his hands and touch the wound where the spear was rammed, I will not believe. He soon received his demand. The butchered God arose to stand and stretch again his hands and say, look, see, reach out, believe and do not doubt. And Thomas knew this is the fount. Now he was seeing the source of all being because here was life poured out. He was spent for the cursed, he was parched for the thirsty and spilled every drop of his blood. Of course Thomas cried, seeing hands and sighed, you are my Lord and my God. So in the end, I say to my friend, here is the faith-giving sight, maimed and magnificent, wounded omnipotent, a warrior back from the fight. Do you have suspicions? Forget cosmic magicians, see this battle-scarred conquering knight. You look for God, but you'll fail to see if you raise your gaze to the stars. Easter would teach us to lower our sights. His story he writes in the scars.